Hello. In this video, I will explain the new workflow uh, for the multitask machines. Okay, we will we will machine the part like this one, and uh, our machine has uh, two spindles: left spindle, right spindle, and two channels: milling head on the top and turret head on the bottom. Okay. Beginning is the same like in version 14. I can create, for example, lathe facing, simple operation and calculate it. After that, I would like, for example, create lathe hole machining. Set this one. And uh, define and run. Uh, one moment. Then I calculate this operation. I don't calculate the links between the operation. So I run it without links. OK. Uh, the next, I would like, for example, to make roughing. <clears throat> and That's enough for the left side. And so, because I will work with two copies of the same part, I need to make the parts. Create structure part. It's the part in the left spindle. I can even re rename it left part. And I create another part. Another part. What is important here? It will be another copy of the same part so the part of the previous operation it's exactly the same the workpiece is the machining result but the location is the right spindle so it will be here it will be placed here and we will have new origin also Okay, we have created the new part. So if I will check the workpiece, you can see that the workpiece for this part is the result of the old previous operation we made, we already made. So for the right spindle, I will rena rename it to the right part and do the same operation, for example, leave facing. Uh, for the facing I will select this. I can disable this job assignment. Set the correct tool. This one. I will use this tool and OK. I will create Deriving again same same tool and the job assignment uh, change the change the direction make it a little bit okay so made the roughing and uh, the last operation for example i will create 2 decontouring uh, to machine this uh, to machine this profile okay for the 2d contouring i will use uh, the tool uh, mill spindle 
set it will be x is zero a x is this one create new tool for example 10 millimeters stand 15 millimeters lens and very hung okay that's good and uh, define the job assignment this curve this bottom level this one top level and uh, side of machining and uh, this one and uh, offset okay i can run it so i can go to simulation and uh, check and check the result we have result we have so the right now it's calculated without approaches facing drilling roughing in the left spindle and same with the right side okay and okay for the last operation i need to switch on the uh, polar interpolation okay i think right now that is good and another very important thing so in i would like move the part from after the machining i would like to move the part from the left spindle to the right spindle and to do it we have the new operation here in the auxiliary mtm takeover this operation takes the new place from the next part from the right and move the current workpiece left to the next to the right that's all and also i would like to remove the part ready part from the right spindle i will use pick and place operation for that i can even re rename it to remove ready part and uh, there is a remove part it's important for the simulation so i added all these operations created that's okay so the next stage right now we prepare it the we prepare it the total machining sequence for the part step by step and uh, the workpiece or the part will be moved from the one operation to the next one but because we have two copies of the part we need to reorder uh, the machining process so i switch on this sequencing mode and reorder the operation how i would like to machine it okay facing is the first it's okay for me drilling also but after that i would like to make the facing in the right spindle roughing in the right spindle after that i would like to make uh, roughing in the left and takeover will be located after all operation so machine face in the left spindle hole in the left spindle face in the right spindle roughing in the right spindle roughing in the left spindle contour remove part from the right spindle and move the workpiece from the left to the right spindle so right now i define the order of machining and after that i can calculate the 
links between the operation. Run uh, set here, run calculate links. So we have the lines here and you can see the lines here. And right now we can go to simulation, for example, and simulate it in the sequencing mode. So how it will be machined without synchronous machining. Okay, let's check. Facing here, it's okay. Drilling. Okay. Facing here. Roughing. After that, roughing here. Okay. And after that, roughing here. Mm -hmm. It's better. And remove. Okay, we have collisions. We have collisions when make the takeover and for the for the 2D contouring I would like to enable deleted chips. And uh, for the before I will make before I will make takeover I would like to move the this position to the left side and uh, I would like to set B axis in this position and and same with this one B axis here and here okay I hope it will work good now recalculate everything after that switch on Calculate the links. After that, go to simulation and check again. Facing, drilling, roughing, another roughing, contouring. Move. Looks good, but it's still not the actual. Uh, actual process because we need to define the multi-channel mode. Okay, if I try to run it in this way, we will see a lot of collisions. Let's check. So together. And the first thing I would like to do is to define the synchronization point. I would like to start drilling. I would like to start drilling only after we finish the facing. So select this one and add the synchronization point. The next, the next, let's check, let's check. So it's wait until we facing and after that. And so, and the next collision again so i would like to wait the end of roughing before contouring so uh, write a deroughing go to the end this one and uh, beginning of beginning of to the contouring here add the sync synchronization point the next the next step the next step i would like also mm, start start the takeover so last two operation here only after that we finish all the machining so before approach and waiting for the end of the waiting for the end of the this one this one and take over uh, and add the let's check let's check the simulation 
EZ notice and try to do it. Waiting. Waiting here. Okay, it wait quite long time, so we can reduce the feed rate for the drilling, for example, to optimize the tool lifetime. Okay, after that profiling and to decontouring, and in the end, finish this one and take cover. Uh, okay, we can see the collision and Okay, to remove the collision, I need to, for the last uh, operation of the turret head, I need to define the correct, uh, I need to define the correct tool change position. So the last, last operation, this one left spindle, a deroughing this operation, and I define the tool change position. Uh, custom but uh, this set will be something like that okay and for the drilling operation I can even reduce the feed rate because we had enough time in the next so uh, not spindle but but uh, work Okay, it's okay again. Recalculate everything. Switch on sequencing. Calculate the links. Go to simulation. Check. And right now, set and simulated mm -hmm. waiting drilling here Waiting. Yes, this one. And take over. With another. That's all. So the part is ready. I can even demonstrate you more complex machining of this part that contains more operations. So, many operations here, and uh, something, it will look something like that. Collision. Okay. So, I would like to repeat again the main stages of the work workflow. First of all, you need to develop the process in the simple way uh, for the first part and for the part in the second spindle. After that, you need to reorder the parts in the, uh, in the sequencing mode. And after that, you need to add the synchronization points and check everything in simulation. So, the simulation can work in three modes. Modes, simple mode, sequencing mode, and the synchronization mode. And you can check your process in every this mode. Thank you very much for your attention.